guys, it's Rachel from Paper Ventures. Welcome to my first day of the Spring Blitz, bringing you 30 days of videos up until my um, one-year YouTube anniversary. But yeah, so that's kind of what I'm celebrating and why I'm doing these 30 days of videos, just for fun. And I don't know, nothing seems more fun than doing 30 days worth of videos. So here we go. Um, today I am making a uh, an envelope flip book using the Maggie Holmes Chasing Dreams collection. Super cute papers. So I made these envelopes using my We Are Memory Keepers punch board. And before I'm attaching them, I'm simply just uh, putting some adhesive on the envelopes and taping it all together. Um... I was going to like place it on like I am, cut it out, and then also cut out like the slits on the pockets, but I just, that was just getting too complicated, and so I'm just doing it this way, and it's actually really easy. Usually, I would um, adhere the envelopes together first, and then put the paper on, but this actually made it so much easier, so definitely do that, it, do it that way again. I did made, li li I did make little, um... Oh my gosh, what are they called? The like space in between the, in, on the envelope flaps so, so that like it can be bigger. I'm probably going to think of it once I'm done this video what the word for it is. Anyway, so that I could fit more into the envelopes like that so that it can be bigger and it'll be like dimensional, I guess. Anyway, I'll think of the name of that. Gusset. Gusset. Is that it? The gusset? No, is it? Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. All right, so I'm just putting the papers on, and now I'm trying to figure out what to put on. Because I always, like, on the first envelope, I like to put, um, like, hello or hey, but, like, I have no good letters left. So I'm trying to figure out what kind of, um, what kind of, like, title to put in the front. So I end up putting hey there. I start with that. And I'm using my, I think they must be Tim Holtz things, but they're from a pen pal. Is it Becky who always gives me those? They're super nice. I think so. Oh, Jen. Anyway, I have so many wonderful pen pals who give me so much stuff. So I'm sorry. I can't remember who exactly gave it to me or gave them to me. I love them so much. I think they're so cute and really add a nice touch to the project. So I said, hey there, pretty lady. Um, except the E, I had to like attach something and same with the L and the Ys are both Xs that I cut into a Y. So it's not the nicest, but you know, I tried my best. There's only so much you can do. So there you go. <laughs> I make do with what I've got. I want to use up all my my supplies till the end. So whatever. So tried my best, you know. Um, now I'm going to use my Tattered Angels um, spray. And I'm just going to do a little bit of black here and there. I did get a little bit of black on the Alpha like sticker. Like the thicker. But... Um, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool, actually. It, like, soaked in and was, like, black sparkly. So I didn't really mind that at first. I was like, no, it will never come out. But it wasn't a big deal. Um, so now I'm going to take this frame that Kira gave to me that is a cut apart um, from the collection. And, well, I think she cut it because I did not get any of that in all my stuff. So anyway... I think it was a cut apart. And then, sorry, I kind of missed this part. I didn't realize that I had stopped filming. But um, yeah, so I just put two chipboard on top. Actually, all of that's chipboard. So um, it was pretty dimensional. And I really like that. And then I use my Heidi Swap Color Shine in the pink color. I don't know exactly the name, but it's a pink color I got from Michaels. And splattered some of that on top. And I like the way that page looks or that pocket or whatever you want to call it. And then I'm going to make a pocket on this pocket. Um, yeah, I'm going to fold up the edges like that, as you can see. And then I cut on the corners. And then I'm going to cut out a hole in the middle. 
not a hole. Yeah, a hole, I guess you could say. And then there we go. It is the perfect size pocket to fit some tags. So I think I'm going to put a label on it. Yeah, I put that giant label. I was going to put that on it at first and it looked good, but then I wanted to do something more custom. Um, it just feels so much more like personable, I guess, when they're it's like a custom label. So I put tag questions on there. And then, of course, I didn't center it properly, like just by a millimeter. So I move everything over, which makes it not as straight, but it's good enough. It's handmade, right? So it doesn't have to be perfect. So I just wrote tag questions. And I'm very happy with how this is going. So I'm going to move along to that page. That rosette was made by my pen pal, Kira. She is so talented. If you've actually, I don't know if I have videos coming up that I've just recorded but haven't uploaded yet or maybe how uploaded a video with her rosette on it. I'm not sure. But, or you'll see one. Anyway, she gave me like four of them. So they do come up on a lot of my projects. And so I used some old chipboard. I have like the outline of the chipboard from Maggie Holmes Gather Collection still left. So um, I am I was just using leftovers of that to elevate the uh, cut apart, the butterfly one. And then I'm going to use my punch to make some cute little hearts just to decorate the page with the pattern paper and use up the pattern paper in a way other than just having like a background. So glued those on to give it some height. And I do add a little bit more to it. I thought I was done there, but then I do add something. What do I put? I think I put some kind of phrase sticker. Oh yeah, that. Think happy, be happy. Really, really cute. And yeah, so I come in with this pink spray and then I accidentally got some on the letters up there. I'm like, okay, well now I guess I got to use a spray up there too. And then I kind of smudged it a little bit on this page right there. And I was like, oh, I'm not doing anything right. So I just come in with some stars, not stars, hearts, heart stickers and kind of fill it in and whatever. So that pretty much finishes it off. Here is the uh, kind of close up. Sorry, they're not great. It's kind of shaky, but here's a little bit of the close ups. And I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for many, many more because I have lots more to upload. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good week. Bye.